awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video is a new monthly collab series hosted by Jamie Brumfield. This collab series is going to be century and decades inspired makeup and for August we are doing the 80s and I'm super excited for this because I automatically thought of Twisted Sister. Like the cliche songs that they have, I want to rock, we're not going to take it. Those are my jams. So I figured let's do a D. Snyder inspired look. We'll see how well this goes over. I have my Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette. It has some of like the rich blues that I think is going to work out for the eye look. And then for the cheeks, I have this new really bright blush. This is the shade Smile by OPV Beauty. I got this in my trend mood box. I'll link my collabs playlist to watch previous collabs. And if you're visiting from any of the channels, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like before you leave. I guess I should have just maybe left my brows alone or just made it more of a line, but I filled them in like so, as well as apply my foundation as normal. Starting off this look, we're going to dive into the shade Sky. And Sky is going to go literally all over the place in the crease, really high up to the brow bone. I am awaiting my Carnival 3 palette to come in. Talk about anxiety for that release. At first it was supposed to release 5 a.m. EST. I definitely set an alarm for that, for sure. And just to find out that they pushed the release to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I was a little annoyed, but then I was like, maybe they're just preparing for it. That way the site doesn't crash. So 10 a.m. rolls around and the site crashes. It says out of stock and I was like, what? The site just went live. Are you telling me things are really out of stock right now? So it took a while for everything to load. I was kind of sad because I did end up buying items individually instead of just getting the bundle. At first I was thinking, oh, this isn't bad. And then I realized I had forgot that it was all in pounds, not converted to USD. So when I saw that on my credit card, I was like, oh girl. <laughs> I need to chill. We really got hit with a lot of makeup releases lately. I'm a huge fan of the Be Perfect formula. Definitely like one of the best formulas I have ever used. I still haven't tested out the XL palette. It is sitting right next to me. It is absolutely stunning, but I really just enjoy using the one right now. And I plan on doing a video on three when she comes in. And I'm also testing out products I haven't tested out before from the brand because these two are the only products that I own. I've been waiting for a Carnival 3. I think I mentioned it in a video like prior to the release launching. I had no idea they were coming out for a 3 and I was like they need to come out with a 3 and they came through. But just like look how beautiful the shade Sky is blending out. You can build it up to your liking and this eyeshadow would literally stay on all day. I am also really glad blue eyeshadow made a comeback. It's definitely a shade I was very drawn to back in the day. Meanwhile, everyone's telling me it is stripper makeup and I'm like, oh. KVD had a really pretty palette that I really liked. I think it was called what? The Shakespeare, the Beethoven, something along the lines palette, but it had a gorgeous blue shade as well as like a silver and a black that I really just loved using those shades so much. It was actually one I actually pretty much used up for the most part. Like that's how bad the pan was. It made me really sad. And that's kind of why I am the way that I am with some of my palettes. It's like, I can no longer get that shade anymore. Yeah, there's some similar ones, but that shade was just so good to me that I can never ever use it again because it's gone. It's okay. It definitely got its money's worth in love. Next, I'm going to take Recharge. I know that there is a little bit of like white as well. So maybe we'll go back in with some white, but I really wanted to focus on blue. I love blue. I 
I need a really good like silver metallic-y shade. So I thought of the Smoke Show palette and then we're gonna take Starstruck right here to help to go for like the more silver. It's almost like silver eyeliner right here because I'm following where my lashes meet but I don't wanna go too high. I wanna take away from like, the more royal blue shade. As I was mentioning about that KVD palette, I had two of my favorite shades, the silver and the blue. I loved pairing them together. Like I would take the blue and put it all over my lid, kind of like how I had it originally. And then I would take the silver shade and use it pretty much as a brow bone highlight. And then I always got made fun of for it. They're like, why are you putting up your eyeshadow that high? I still think I'm a little traumatized from being bullied about that. So that's why I don't always do a brow bone highlight anymore, just from like the really mean comments that I got. I might put a little bit of a twist onto this because I do love smoking out the lower lash line, but I also love doing a really heavy eyeliner on the waterline. Another thing, got teased back in the day before. It was just going through that scene phase, which was it a phase? Cause I don't think I ever left it. I think it's time to put this douche eyeliner out of its misery. I have been milking it for so long to get every little bit ounce out of it, but it is struggling. For lashes, I'm gonna take the Lashy Box Lashes in the Style Valley. And I'm gonna take some of my Fenty mascara to blend in with my natural lashes, and then take some of the Tarte Tarteiste Easy on the Eyes for the upper waterline. So for a while I've been debating, should I just put like a little bit of twist onto this look? And I think I am. And I'm gonna go back in with Sky, just to lightly smoke the lower lash. And then taking the shade Breezy for the inner corner highlight. Usually I do this all before lashes, but I was on the fence back and forth and I was like, let me just add a little bit just to put like a little modern twist onto things. Quickly bronze with my Tarte Tarteiste Pro Glow Palette. I guess we could try to mimic some of the powder. I'll just like leave it on like as if I were baking, but without removing it. And the powder I'm about to use for this is just going all over the place.
like covered in powder right now. Okay, I think it's time to add the dramatic blush right here. I don't really have any red blushes. Ooh, there we go. It's almost like instant jigsaw for me and I'm living for it. My favorite part, the bright lipstick. This is the ColourPop lipstick in the shade on display. And to add the final touch. rock and this is the final look i almost can't take myself seriously i had like the same feeling after i did the joker makeup i just sat there looked at myself going is that really me <laughs> who is this girl that i see staring back at me despite looking a little crazy right now i think it was a lot of fun it definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone i really don't have words right now but it was fun i think this is a great idea that jamie came up with and i look forward to the upcoming months i would love to know if you were to do an 80s look where would your inspiration come from what colors, themes would you do in your look? Don't forget to check out everyone else's look. There will be a playlist in the description below to see what they came up with for their 80s inspired look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.